Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Preppers Network 808. How much food should you store? There's a few things to take into consideration. How much food does your family eat, for instance? And what types of food do they eat? Do you eat as well? You may want to do a little inventory check there and kind of gauge how much food that your family eats and the different types of foods as well that would help you to determine the types of foods that you'd like to store. Now there's many options. Shelf stable, non-perishable, freeze dried, dehydrated. You can can your own food. You can vacuum seal that food as well and you can also grow your own food if you have the necessary and proper space to do so. Another thing to take into consideration is space. So if you live in a house, three bedroom, four bedroom home, you will definitely have a lot more space to play with when it comes to food storage and storing that food of yours. But if you happen to live in an apartment, then it's a whole new ball game there. Your space becomes much limited. Also take into consideration how much food you plan on storing. So all of this will factor in with your food storage. Keep in mind that there's also pros and cons to having food storage, such as the availability of these different types of foods that you and your family eat, as well as supply and demand, food shortages, and panic shopping. During this time, we still have quite a lot of availability in foods in the stores and grocery stores, so you can more or less, you know, gauge and see what you want to store, how much of it you want to store. So everything is basically neutral and calm during this time and that's the best time to do your food shopping. There are food shortages so keep that in mind. Do your due diligence and your homework and research on these shortages and know that the shortages are out there nationwide as well as globally. So if there are items that you normally use and consume on a daily basis, check into those items and make sure that there is no shortages. And if there's something that you could replace that with, that's something to think about as well. You don't want to get caught in that mad rush of panic shoppers if something does come down, if SHT occurs or some natural disaster and event occurs, you want to get these things way ahead of time before anything occurs. Now your budget also plays a factor into all of this. With the economic inflation, that will more or less dictate what you can and cannot afford. A lot of people are now shopping the regular store name brand items versus the other you know, well-known items because of the price points there and a lot of things are very expensive. So you're gonna have to more or less look at your budget and see what you can afford. Another thing to take into consideration is your location. Humidity, moisture, heat, salt air, that's the climate of Hawaii. So that plays a huge role on your food storage on the shelf life as well as the expiration date and your food won't last that long it actually cuts the shelf life and expiration date in half so keep that in mind and how you're going to store it and where you're going to store that food of yours pet food storage your pets definitely need food storage they need food dry food, uh, canned food, whatever food, if you even cook for them as well, keep that in mind. The amount of pets you have and the amount of food they eat daily. So you want to make a sort of a checklist, a gauge in how often they eat, how much of that that they eat, that can more or less help you to determine the amount of food that your pets will need as well for long-term food storage. Now I've already 
sort of talked about shelf life and expiration dates, but this is also where your climate will dictate the shelf life and uh, of your food storage. Like our climate pretty much cuts the shelf life in half um, unless you have a climate controlled room or environment uh, such as a bunker and or an air conditioner, an air conditioned home or room that would more or less help. Now when it comes to storing food, you usually store it at lower elevations. It's cooler at the lower elevations. The higher it is, it's more heat and hot. So keep that in mind as well. Now here's a few things that you want to do on a regular basis. Use your intuition. If your intuition kicks in and tells you something, especially if it's regarding preparedness, listen to that intuition. For instance, the other day my intuition said, get up, fill up all your bottles, all your empty plastic containers with water, just in case. Therefore, I sprung to action and I filled up every single uh, extra clear water bottle that I had because I can use that for washing dishes, I can use that for um, cleaning, I can use it for brushing our teeth and so forth. So pay attention to that intuition of yours. It is never wrong. Clear the sink. Always keep your sink cleared just in case. You don't want a pile of dishes in that sink. If somebody, you know, if if the water main breaks and you won't have water for who knows how long and that's something that's ongoing in our state the water mains always break across our state so keep that in mind too do your laundry on a regular basis don't wait for the last minute get that out of the way and clear things up charge all your devices have them all ready to roll and ready to go at all times. You never know when some type of event will just occur at the spur of the moment. For example, power outages and you haven't done any of these things on a regular basis. Then you're going to have a piled up sink. You're going to have, you know, uncharged devices and all of those things. You don't want to be in that position. You want to be prepared at all times. Do an inventory check on all your preps. Fill in those holes and gaps if need be. Do everything ahead of time while things are calm, while things are neutral and no one is in panic and hoarding mode. You're doing all the all of these things you know just in case some type of event arises and we get a shutdown for this or for that a power outage you know any of these things can occur will occur now in this day and age and we are witnessing all of these things occurring now start decluttering your home donate items sell unwanted items clear up more space for your preps you want to get rid of things that no longer serve you that have been sitting there and camping for who knows how long and you're not going to use it you're not going to do anything with it so it's just taking up much needed space for your preps so think about selling it donating it giving it away gas the car and do car maintenance checkups now this is what you want to always do as well in a timely manner. Always have your car filled with gas just in case. You never know when you're going to have to really go in that car of yours and you don't want it to be empty or even a quarter tank. You want it to always be topped off at a full tank. Just the same as having a maintenance check on your car, checking the tires, checking the oil, just checking everything and making sure that the car is in working order at all times. House maintenance. You want to look around the home, make sure nothing's falling apart, 
there's no holes termites check the roof make sure it doesn't leak check around the home on the outside as well as on the inside is there debris that needs to be cleared up is there brush and you know grass and you know just tall plants that have not been tended to you want to start clearing and maintaining that property and home of yours and keep it in good order just in case there's a hurricane or any type of event and that you're not going to be aware of and or not prepared of so you don't want any flying objects if there's high winds as well as hurricane winds so you want to trim down and declutter whatever is not needed around the home and check on the holes that need to be patched up especially in your roof um, if you need to redo things and renovate things do so while it is calm and neutral during this time that's about it guys i'm hoping that all of this or any of this that i'm sharing with you has helped you to think about a few things that perhaps you may have forgotten if there are any more things that you'd like to add to this please comment and share them below with the rest of us so that we are all better prepared have a great day and aloha